bring them to their sense of guilt so they willingly give back what they stole. And all of this will strengthen her relationship with the king of Naples, which in turn strengthens her rule in Milan. So brilliant plan, am I right? Yes, I am so right. So, the garden looks beautiful. Miranda, there you are, my dear. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at you, all ready to go with your beautiful flower crown on Miranda, my dear daughter. You, I want you to be happy in your blessing ceremony. So please, find the most beautiful place in this garden for which you will have your blessing ceremony at. All right? Off you go, find it. And I'm looking for Ferdinand. Now, where is Ferdinand? Oh, hello, hi. <laughs> How are you? Um, I have to find Ferdinand. And I believe he's right there. Mm-hmm. Hello, Ferdinand. How are you? Looking sly and fabulous as always. Am I right? Yes. In a very grand hat there, you see? He's a very noble and grand disguise hat. All right, Miranda, did you find your location? Where'd she go? Miranda? Maybe she went over to the, the beautiful... Is she over there? Miranda? Ah! Okay, everyone, this way. My dear, did you find... Oh, I see you found a beautiful spot for your lovely blessing ceremony. All right, Ferdinand is here. He's ready. Ferdinand, please take your place next to our lovely Miranda. All right, now, where is our Iris? There she is, Iris. Now, you are the goddess of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. You are also Juno's secretary, for whatever reason. But first, what I want you to do is I want you to take this beautiful rose here. Yes, this gorgeous rose. That's right. And I want you to go ahead and give it to Ferdinand so that he can present it to his lovely bride. That's right. There we go. Beautiful. Now, Iris, since you're also Juno's secretary, amongst our guests here, there is Juno. So could you please go find her? She's in disguise. Where is she? Could you find her, please? I know, hard to see. Ah, there she is. There's our beautiful Juno. Get on up here, Juno. All right. I oh, there. See, I've just undisguised you. You know, you're you're all in all of your goddess glory. So I want you to go and stand on the other side of them, sort of like your, you know, where a priest would stand at a wedding ceremony. This is a blessing ceremony, therefore you're a goddess, so you're totally different, but somewhat the same. So you have a traditional goddess dance, and I'm going to show it to you. It looks like this. Rainbow, rainbow, sprinkles, sprinkles, rainbow, rainbow, sprinkles, sprinkles. That's right. Wait, Ferdinand, you were supposed to present that to your lovely... Yes. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's right. So now everyone else, we must follow our goddesses every move. Otherwise, you know, they could turn us into a toad and we don't want that. Now, and you can do the traditional goddess dance or you can do a tap dance. It doesn't matter. You're the goddess. We do what you do. All right. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Are you ready? <clears> On <throat> a wishes, marriage, blessing. Long oh, wait, I'm going to hold off here just a second. I see all of our audience over here is doing everything they're supposed to do. But my friend, you're interrupting the blessing ceremony. Come, 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 come here, come here, come here. Yes, you with the hat. Yes, come here. Dear, my dear, you, you. Yes, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Now, we are having a blessing ceremony. That means they are going to get engaged to get married, right? It's a ceremony, and so we don't want to interrupt the ceremony. You wouldn't do that at, like, a marriage ceremony. You wouldn't do that at a funeral. No, of course not. So I want you to do make sure we're respectful to our lovely players. Now, listen. You are a very important part of this process because you're one of the audience members. And our audience who is watching this beautiful ceremony must, they must 
follow our goddess's every move. Now, the goddess is the one with the halo on over there behind you. You see that? That's the goddess. And she can turn you into a toad. And I'm not kidding, a toad, if you do not do what she does. You're going to follow her every move. Can you do that? And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a toad. Well, she'll turn you into a toad, but somehow you'll become a toad. Okay? Very good. Are we ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Watch our goddesses every move. So turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, dear. You can't follow direction. I'm going to have to send you away. Off she goes to somewhere else. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye. All right. There. Uh, see, that's what happens. You get turned into a toad. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. <clears throat> On a wishes, marriage blessing. Long continuance and increasing. Alley joys be still upon you. Juno sings her blessings upon you. Beautiful work, Juno. Let's give her some snaps. That was lovely. I like the crossed arms together. Yes. Lovely work, Juno. Now, Iris, hiding amongst you, is another goddess. And her name is Ceres. Please find the goddess Ceres amongst you. Where is she, I wonder? Ah, oh, there she is, running around in the back. All right, well, let's get you unmasked. There you go. You have your little halo on. Come on up here, Ceres. That's right. Why don't you switch places with our lovely Juno? Juno, come on out. Ceres, get on in there. There we go. All right, now, again, you're a goddess. You get to do whatever you like, of course. Um, but I will show you the traditional goddess dance in case you want to see it now. Ceres is a bit more earthy, a little down to earth, because, you know, she's the goddess of agriculture and fertility of the land. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's right. And her dance looks like this. Add the flour, add the water, knead it, knead it, roll it, and bake it. Add the flour, add the water, knead it, knead it, roll it, and bake it. Perfect. All right. We're all ready. We're going to follow our goddesses every move. <clears throat> Earth's increasing, voice and plenty. Bonds and garners never empty. Vines with clustering bunches growing. Plants with goodly birth and bowing. Bring come to you at the farthest, at the very end of harvest. Scarcity and want shall shun you. Series blessing, snow is on you. Beautiful work, a lovely series. Good, that was very grounded and down to earth. That's so lovely. All right, you can step out now, my dear. And I'm just going to give a lovely little blessing to my daughter and my new son. May the world bend to your whims and you never be exiled again. And now you may hug. You are now blessed by goddesses. That's right. Get on in there and hug. Oh, it's so romantic, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy for you. All right, all my players, all my goddesses, everyone, come on up here. Stand up here next to us. Let's face our audience who is standing over there. Let us all bow. Oh, thank you. Could you snap for us? Thank you so much. You're so very, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. Oh, and you. Uh, oh, so beautiful. You know what? What is a show without an audience to see it? What is a play? What is anything without an audience to see it? They're the most important part of any show so come on in here let's all circle around our audience come on in here let's all circle around them and let us show them our love let's give them snaps let's throw flowers at them let's give them candies and gifts and goodies and thank them for being there to support us because they are the most important part of any production thank you friends <laughs> Oh, this has been lovely, everyone. What a beautiful ceremony. I am, of course, Prospera. And I'm seeing a new, a new person here, a, a new soul. Yes, you, you, you are amongst us. Someone who's not been here long enough to have 
a very special mask, like the ones that you have. Would you like a mask? A new one? I'm betting that everyone here would be happy to help you get a new one. What do you think? So, what kind of mask shall we get them? Shall we get them a star mask? Or a Stonehenge mask? What do you say? Anybody have a preference? An onion mask! Oh my, an onion mask. That's interesting. Okay, well, we are very close to the entrance of the workshop. So, let us all walk over there. Come this way, everyone. Off we go. Everyone come this way. You are all going to go to the top of these stairs. You're going to go through those doors, which my friend here can open. Right here. And we're going to get you a new mask. It's going to look like an upside down onion. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much. It's been lovely. Goodbye. Thank you.